Perfect. So uh, thank you, everyone. Um, I think it's time to start. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us today and, uh, you know, uh, to this session. I uh, appreciate your time. Hopefully, uh, you will enjoy this session. And, um, you know, um, let's get started. So uh, today's session, obviously, uh, it's about uh, Apache AG, which is incubating at this moment. And uh, to start, uh, let's take a look at our today's agenda and see, you know, what we're going to cover and, you know, how you can um, get advantages from this session regarding Apache AG. So uh, for the agenda, for today's agendas, uh, what you're going to do, we're going to, uh, I'm going to just, you know, give you a little bit of background on myself. Then uh, we're going to uh, focus on Apache AG. We're going to talk about, uh, you know, this project, which is incubating uh, right now. We're going to talk about what is this project, um, you know, why you should uh, start considering using uh, this uh, Apache AG in your project, you know, what advantages uh, it can give you, and also uh, why, uh, you know, um, where you can use um, this project. We're going to talk about the current status and news, uh, the Apache AG team, and also um, we're going to deep dive into more technical overview of uh, Apache AG. So we're going to go over the, you know, architecture and uh, a little bit more internal logic. And uh, we're going to talk about the roadmap of Apache AG, you know, where are we going with this project? And also <clears throat> the ecosystem, you know, um, around this project and uh, some of the benefits uh, of using uh, Apache AG and also some of the challenges that this project can, you know, solve and actually it's solved. And at the end, uh, you know, if you're interested, uh, uh, we will share for sure how to contribute to this project. We always, you know, um, welcome new commenters, new contributors, and uh, we would love to see more people. And uh, obviously at the end, we do have a 10 minutes Q&A session. So any question, uh, feel free to, you know, uh, send it through the chat box and uh, we'll try to answer your questions. All right, so to give you a little bit, uh, you know, background uh, on myself, uh, my name is Ayob Badal, and uh, I'm a technical engineer with Bitnine Global. Uh, if you have any question, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I am, uh, you know, one of the committers of this project, Apache AGE, uh, among uh, four, uh, five other committers. Um, you know, uh, responsible for implementation and also, uh, you know, uh, development of this project as well. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're wondering what AGE stands for, uh, AGE stands for a graph extension. Uh, this is our website. So if you're interested, please feel free to, you know, check it out. This is, uh, there are great information on this uh, website have to contribute, you know, uh, what is AG, um, and we have a great amount of documentation and instruction on uh, AG. So let's take a look at what is AG. Uh, basically, this project is new generation of multi-model graph database for the modern complex data environment. Uh, so uh, meaning that, you know, uh, Obviously, uh, meaning by multi-model, it means that it covers, it supports different uh, models, such as, uh, in this case, a relational model and also a graph model. Uh, Apache AG, uh, as I mentioned, is a multi-model database which is designed uh, to be simple, really user-friendly, uh, which supports uh, relational and graph at the same time, uh, and uh, it enables the user to integrate their legacy relational data model uh, with the really flexible graph model uh, all in one database. So, uh, you know, meaning that if you're coming from the background of relational databases and, uh, you know, you have your legacy database in a relational, um, using AGE will make it much easier to start using graph on top of what you have. And you will see why. Um, there are a specific reason that, you know, why it's more user friendly and you can do it with minimum effort. Uh, so AG, um, one thing I have to mention is based on PostgreSQL and uh, it's built on, uh, you know, as an extension um, for the PostgreSQL, which makes it really robust and fully featured. Uh, AG is optimized for uh, handling complex connected data 
and uh, basically provides uh, plenty of powerful database features essential to the database environment. Uh, some are, uh, you know, the asset transaction, multi-version concurrency control, stored procedures, triggers, constraint, and, uh, you know, sophisticated monitoring and a flexible data model. So as you may know, um, you know, uh, you all come from the really highly uh, technical background. And nowadays, all the data are connected and very complex. And uh, graph database has proven that, you know, um, it solves us of the challenges when it's come to the highly connected data. So having Apache AGE uh, on top of Postgres, especially a relational database, will give you lots of flexibility when it comes to modeling those data. So having both feature at the same time uh, will help you to solve lots of those challenges. Uh, so basically, uh, Apache AGE, um, some of the advantages is that uh, it's a strong, basically, in environment in our you know today's life, there's a strong need for a cohesive, easy to implement multi-model database. And what Apache AGE uh, is uh, basically doing, since it's an extension of Postgres, it supports all the functionality and feature of Postgres, and on top of it, offers a graph model in addition. So lots of flexibility, lots of new features, and. Um, also, as I mentioned before, a user with the relational background uh, who are in need of a graph model on top of their existing relational model uh, also can use this extension with really minimum effort because you can just, you know, if you're a Postgres user, a relational user, you can just simply enable this extension on top of your, you know, uh, existing uh, model and start, you know, using this uh, graph model without any migration uh, and uh, which is makes it really easy with a minimum effort. And uh, basically what you're seeing here uh, is uh, Apache AG. And um, what is showing basically is showing what's going on in a you know in a uh, little bit uh, higher level. So you do have Postgres. And you do have graph model, uh, which is AGE. So um, you can have a combination of a data table and graph table at the same time. And uh, you know you can use uh, or only only you can have graph model or only you can have Postgres when using it, obviously the AGE. So uh, multi-model, uh, you can fetch the data at the same time from both models. Uh, we'll get to that later but it gives a really good flexibility to the user uh, who are interested in multi-model, especially, uh, you know, relational and uh, graph databases. Uh, I just want to quickly check something. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm. All right, sorry, I don't know what happened, but I'm going to share one more time. Apologies. Okay, there we go. We'll go back to the stage. All right. So, what do we have next? Is that um, just want to give you a little bit, you know, background idea of you know where this idea came from, and you know how uh, this project basically started it. So, uh, as of now, most of the graph databases, uh, you know, that are out there, um, all of them you know, requires the migration of data. And, you know, if you're using any relational uh, databases, you need to migrate your data to their environment to be able to do the graph model. And um, basically, uh, one or two is only offering the multi-model, but again, not the, not as user-friendly as the Apache AG is. So for example, uh, previous to, you know, to this project, uh, I worked with Agents Graph, and uh, what Agents Graph was offering basically was offering a fork of Postgres. So this project was built on top of the Postgres, but you know, as a fork. And um, what was happening with the user, that user were having lots of challenges um, because it was a fork. Uh, they had to migrate everything. They had to model, you know, a little bit harder. And uh, what happens basically, um, this product, the idea came from that. And, uh, you know, we started thinking about making an extension on top of Postgres and make it really user friendly and easy and simple for the user instead of having it as a fork. Uh, yeah, so then the alpha version uh, was released in March 2020. 
we entered incubation after that. Uh, so basically what Apache AG was, uh, you know, offering at the beginning and offering, you know, uh, as of now is the full graph data process capability through the impl implementation of, uh, you know, open cipher that is most widely uh, used graph query language. So basically one of the uh, standard and highly used uh, graph languages is open cipher, which Apache AG is based on open cipher as well. And uh, obviously it supports the manifesto of a graph query language standardization because uh, it's an open cipher. The user, uh, as I mentioned before, they do not need to migrate their data to utilize graph model on the existing relational data. And um, it's, you know, it makes it profound different in user adoptions, but uh, which Apache AG makes it really easy for the adoption. Uh, also, another, uh, I would say, great feature that comes with Apache AG is that the extension edition uh, will also support uh, multiple versions of Postgres immediately, uh, which, you know, uh, requires less maintenance. So before with the other project, you know, if the new version of the Postgres was coming out, obviously it needed some, uh, you know, maintenance since it was for it. But uh, by having it as an extension, making it really easy because, you know, it will be uh, easy to maintain and it will be compatible with the newest version of Postgres. Um, also the Apache AG project, um, as you already may know, it's, uh, you know, actively being developed by the committers. And uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, we accept new committers uh, and uh, contributors um, always. Uh, okay, let's talk about the current status and some of the news that, uh, you know, uh, we have right now. Uh, so, uh, starting from when we entered the incubation, uh, we entered in uh, April. Then uh, we have uh, two new committers. Uh, one was in, um, you know, March. One, one is really recent, back in September 13. And uh, we had our first official Apache release, uh, version 0 0.3.0, uh, back in February. Uh, then our next release was May 2021, and then our latest release was August, uh, just uh, you know recently, and also our, our newest version, which is 0 0.6.0, is uh, currently in the process, in the voting process. So should you know if everything goes well, should be out soon. Uh, so uh, if you're interested, check it out, test it, try it, let us know you know how you feel, and you know if you have any questions. And if you're interested, check out the you know status page as well. Um, all right, uh, let's um, you know take a look at the team and uh, you know who's in the behind of this project. So these are some of our mentors and you know uh, our champion. Uh, we have Felix, Kevin, um, Juan Gosling, uh, and Juan as our main mentor, and Rafael. And as I mentioned, Jim was one of the champions. And mentors are really helpful through this project, so we appreciate all their support and help. And, um, you know, uh, it's continuing. Um, some of the main committers uh, and basically some of the initial, uh, you know, coders and developers of this project, John Gemignani, Josh Ines, Dihal Feng, and um, Alex Kwok recently joined us as a committer. He was one of the great co contributors to this project. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, uh, including me, one of the committers of this project. All right, so um, this, these are some of the, are really great contributors. So I just wanna thank you them here as well. Uh, they've been really great and uh, contributing to this project, helping us, supporting us through this process. Uh, this is just, you know, some of the list of it. We do have more contributors, but, um, you know, uh, I thought to mention them as well since they have a great contribution to this project. All right, uh, so uh, next, uh, let's deep dive a little bit in, into more technical overview of the Apache AG project. Uh, what you're seeing here, obviously, is the AG architecture and what's going on in the different layer. Uh, so uh, in the Apache AG architecture, we do have five different layers. Uh, the first layer, we do have query parsing. Uh, at the next layer, we do have query transform. We do have our planner optimizer layer. We do have executor layer. 
And, uh, you know, at the fifth layer, we do have transaction and uh, our cash layer. And uh, obviously, at the, you know, at the bottom layer of this, we do have Postgres X, uh, storage, uh, which is uh, basically one storage um, here um, using for Apache AG and obviously Postgres since uh, AG is an extension of this uh, project. All right, uh, let's take a look at the first layer. So in the first layer, uh, we do have our query parsing layer, which basically it parses uh, Cypher queries by a function call that uses a parser following the open Cypher standard. Um, our first layer, then we're gonna go to our next layer, which is our uh, basically query transform layer, uh, which is responsible for transforming the Cypher query into a query tree. And this is our, obviously, second layer. Um, if you go to our third layer, we do have our planner optimized layer, uh, which is, uh, you know, which understands uh, some of those graph operation and obviously produces plan nodes that are related uh, to the graph operations. In our next layer, uh, we do, which is a fourth layer. We do have an executor, uh, which executes plan nodes that are related uh, to the graph uh, operations. And in our fifth layer, uh, we do have our transaction and cache layer, uh, which in this layer, Cypher queries uh, work uh, with the Postgres existing fully uh, transactional system. And, you know, um, uh, everything happens basically based on this uh, five layer. And um, uh, obviously, you know, as I mentioned at the bottom layer, we do have the storage of the Postgres. So basically this was the really high level of this architecture. Uh, and, uh, you know, I hope it gives you a better idea of what's going on, uh, you know, in the background of the architecture. Uh, what you're seeing in this slide uh, is basically the Apache AG roadmap. Again, this is a high level. Uh, we so, <coughs> excuse me. We separated it to the two section, back end and front end. Uh, for the front end section, uh, we were thinking about the graph visualization and uh, BI or business intelligence dashboard. As of now, actually, we do have the graph visualization. It is uh, one of the sub projects of uh, Apache AG, and uh, you know, check it out. Um, I think it's a, it gives a really great uh, advantages to the user to be able to visualize their data. So by using this um, visualization tool, if you have table format and if you have graph format at the same time, you can visualize, visualize both in a table format and also in a graph format. So it, it gives the user really great flexibility and advantages to you know uh, see their data, and you know, analyze them uh, in more visual way. And uh, also a graph model framework. Uh, we are thinking about the ETL uh, tools, uh, such as data ingestion, uh, object graph mapper, and also SparkQL compatibility as well. When it comes to the data analytics, uh, basically uh, we are thinking about um, analytic framework, uh, high level analytics API, uh, machine learning frameworks. Um, we are uh, when it comes to the DBMS. Um, obviously, Apache AGS database. Uh, we are thinking, you know, um, about the distributed graph, uh, which is, you know, which is something that uh, we think will give lots of uh, good uh, advantage to the user. We are thinking to expand the multi-graph features that we have, uh, which I will cover uh, basically in the next session, uh, next uh, slides. Uh, we are thinking to enhance the HA feature, um, such as multi-master nodes, standbys, and you know the high availability as advantage, and also uh, PL uh, PGSQL or PL uh, AG Cipher and PL Python, um, and also providing API uh, to give the user more ability to write those uh, you know function when it comes to um, you know Postgres or Apache AG. And also in our roadmap, we do have an AGA CLI wrapper. And um, yeah, so basically it's the roadmap both as a combination for both database and the graph process engine when it comes to Apache AGE. 
And uh, you know, if you're interested more in the more specific detail, because as I mentioned, this is really high level. But if you're looking for a more detailed uh, roadmap, we do have it available on our website. Or you know, you can always reach out to us. We'll be more than happy uh, to share that with you. All right, let's take a look at the Apache AG advantages in more detail. Uh, so basically what it offers you, Apache AG, the ease of adoption and system migration to graph database for Postgres users. So as I mentioned, if you're a Postgres user, uh, you know, you can just enable the extension Apache AG and uh, there you go. You're good to go to use, you know, graph databases and graph model on top of your existing or even if you're new to it, you can just start using it. So really user friendly. It supports multiple versions of Postgres uh, that clients may be already using. So uh, if you're a you know, Postgres user, um, you know, the previous versions, um, obviously uh, it'll be easy to use AGE because it supports all the versions. Uh, it also leverages third-party developers and the Postgres community as well on top of you know, what Apache is offering right now. It has better support for other Postgres extensions as well. So again, if you're a Postgres user, if you're using other extensions, um, you know, such as, uh, you know, we do uh, see some users are using already other extensions. Um, PGCIS, I believe, is one of the extensions uh, that has been highly used. So you can just, you know, it's easy to adopt and easy to support when it comes to those extensions. Um, all of this eases uh, will take a fear of adoption and migration um, and also uh, some of the unique features of Apache AG, which, has, which I mentioned before, uh, will help you uh, to, you know, um, use this uh, graph model uh, in a, into your advantages. One of them are the unique feature of multi-graph queries that uh, as of now, I don't believe any other OpenCypher graph databases support this feature or offers these features. And also the ability to adopt to other graph query languages such as uh, Gremlin, uh, GraphQL, and uh, etc. And uh, obviously quicker support of new feature, uh, performance improvement, and bug fixes when it comes to the Postgres as well. Uh, so yeah, some of the great advantages and benefits uh, when it comes to Apache AG. And uh, let's take a look at some of those features that I mentioned and let's see um, how Apache AG can solve some of the challenges uh, that, you know, are already out there. Uh, so some of, uh, one of the challenges that we see a lot out there when it comes to the graph databases is that, again, um, you know, not being able to have a multi-model or even if you have a multi-model um, system, you cannot basically query at the same time from the both system and analyze your data. So one of the great and really popular, I would say, features that Apache AG offers is the hybrid query. Uh, now, it, it's obvious from the name, right? Uh, you can write hybrid queries, which means at other language, you can do like multi-language queries. So you can write a query, which consists of the cipher, which is a query language, and also SQL, obviously, which is a relational uh, you know, uh, model language. So to make it easier, for example, if you take a look at this picture here, let's say uh, you have a relational data and you have a graph data at the same time in Apache AG, right? And uh, you would like to you know, analyze your data from both and you know, query both at the same time. So what you can do, you can do it in two ways. You can write a hybrid query, which is Cypher and SQL, or you can write a hybrid query, which is SQL and Cypher. So in a Cypher in SQL, which is the first one, you can write a query, which in this case, your outer language or your outer query will be SQL, and your inner one will be a Cypher query. And uh, you can run it at the same time, and you will get your result. Or the other way to do it is uh, have your outer query to be Cypher and your inner query to be SQL. And uh, again, uh, you know, um, just um, query from both models. Uh, these are some of the examples that uh, we have here. So uh, basically showing the same concept uh, using hybrid query, uh, which, uh, you know, uh, seeing from, you know, our users, um, they're really happy with these uh, features. I think it gives a great uh, advantages when it comes to the multi-model. 
you do have more examples on our documentation uh, and um, you know if you're interested again reach out to us um, I believe um, that's one thing that everyone at least uh, the Apache user needs to uh, be aware of and tested uh, another uh, great feature and uh, another challenges that you know the Apache AG can solve is uh, querying mult uh, multiple graph so as I mentioned um, as of now uh, we don't have uh, to my knowledge we don't have any graph database that can you know give you this feature querying from both graph or you know multiple graph uh, but um, what happens that many user complained of not being able to query multiple graph and what Apache AG offers uh, basically offers a solution that will give the user this flexibility <clears throat> excuse me this flexibility to query multiple graph at the same time so if you have if you're you know let's say if you're using a graph model and your data is uh, you know it distributed in a different graphs uh, what you can do, you can query at the same time from those multiple graphs. So what you're seeing in this example is an example from the healthcare provider, basically looking to find all long-term services and support claims that the doctor has. So in this example, we do have two graphs. We have a provider graph, which uh, in this, let's say it's insurance information, right? And uh, we do have a claims graph, which are the, all those claims that have been, you know, provided, uh, have been uh, submitted to the insurance. So having this feature will give you lots of flexibility to be able to, you know, uh, write queries and, you know, just uh, fetch from the board graph. So again, another advantages and some, uh, you know, solutions that Apache AG offers, um, you know, uh, on top of its a graph model and also a relational model. All right, uh, and uh, at the end, uh, you know, if you're interested to join us and uh, to contribute to this project, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we'll be more than happy, you know, to uh, get you started on the process, answer any questions that you have. If you're interested, uh, you know, go on our website. We do have lots of great information over there, uh, documentation, instruction, developer guideline, uh, where to start, and, you know, um, Go over there, uh, join us also, uh, subscribe to our mailing list. It's not here, but you know, I will share the um, end as well. Um, our, you know, dev list, user list. If you're interested, send your question uh, or any information that you would need. And we, we you know, we're always happy to answer any questions that you have. And um, yeah, I believe um, I covered everything that, you know, was planned for today. So. We can, I believe, jump on to the Q&A session. And um, I believe I will stop sharing for now. So we do have the chat box. Um, so if you have any question, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer. Uh, this channel is open, I think, for at least 10 more minutes. So uh, please take your time and uh, feel free to send any questions that you have. So, yeah, I mean, good question uh, from Justin Macklin. Uh, so, uh, why, why? Uh, so, I believe uh, Justin, you meant why, why AG and why not AGE? Uh, in a maybe the lower case, if I'm getting the question right. Um, so so we, you know, we talk about it that if we have it like A G E as all uppercase, you know, we can more emphasize on a graph extension. 
and um you know, uh, we thought it's more uh, related to what uh, this project is offering. I hope I answered the question. Okay, perfect. All right. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. I'll give it a couple more minutes. If not, I don't want to take anyone's time. Uh, and yeah, while we're here, uh, if you're interested, yeah, please join us and subscribe on our mailing list. We'll be happy to see it, to see you. And um, yeah, send us any questions. And yeah. And I just want to thank you everyone for obviously joining us today. I hope uh, you know this session was um, informative and give you a better idea on what this project is doing. And um, uh, yeah, I appreciate your joining today. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I'll be happy to answer any question if you have. We still have time. Feel free to send it in the chat box. All right, I think I'll give it one more minute. Um, if no question, uh, we can just wrap it up. And um, we are always also active on our mailing list and dev list. Uh, so please join us and um, we can share more information over there. All right, uh, thank you everyone again for joining us. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the session and you know, uh, you learn more about Apache AG. Uh, we are looking uh, forward uh, to seeing you around and you know, uh, seeing you on our uh, channels and uh, hopefully, you know, you're interested in this project and will contribute to it. Uh, I don't want to take your time. Uh, thanks again and hopefully see you again uh, in the next uh, conferences. Have a great day, everyone.